Mojo in the Morning is your home of the phone scams. Listener Shannon wants us to scam her boss. Rick runs a car wash, and he sounds like a real character. Let's see how he handles Spike's complaint about the car wash. We will, we will scam you. <clears throat> Sorry, it's a catchy song. It's your home of phone scams. Mojo in the Morning. Yeah, how you doing? Who's this? This is Rick. Hey, Rick. How you doing? This is Seamus, and I was uh, calling to see how I figure getting about reimbursement if my car's uh, damaged and it needs to be repaired. Well, what happened to your car? Well, I'll tell you what happened to it because it, it won't start anymore since I got it washed there. I went driving, and then it stopped, and I think you guys wet the engine. Well, sir, it sprays up underneath every car it goes through here, and, you know, if something like that happened to it, it wasn't anything we done. My car won't start, and it's my boss's car. When he finds out this happened, he's going to be madder than a midget in a yo-yo contest. Well, I mean, the, whatever happened to it, I don't think anything here done it. It just done it. I think it was the Muppet. You know the thing that spins around in there looks like the Muppet? The the thing with all the soap on it? Yeah. All that stuff gets up underneath the car, and they, I think it wet the engine, and it, it stalled out on me. Well, sir, this nothing in here gets it any wetter than it would if you drove it in the rain. Who's the guy there that collects the money, the guy that wears too much cologne? We don't have a guy like that. Yeah, the guy at the register. Well, he don't wear any cologne. Oh, man, he was this morning. And here's the thing. I, he told me, you know, obviously they say you're not responsible for the roof rack or the antennas. He didn't say a thing about the engine. Did you get this washed in court? And I got it washed. There's no R. It's not washed. But here's the thing. Listen, if you were one of those high school cheerleader bikini washes, I'd expect a poor soap job. You guys are professional business. Yes, sir, we are. And if you guys have a special uh, mechanic you want me to go through or you want me to just go to my regular guy and then bill you. No, we're not going to be billed. You have a problem with customer service, I think, is a problem. Yeah, I went down the restaurant down the street there from you, the one that's famous for the chicken. You know the one I'm talking about? I don't know which restaurant you're talking Burger about. Burger King. It's called Burger King. Anyway, my wife got burned on the chicken sandwich there. Well, we're, there's not a Burger King out here at our wharf. Listen, you arguing about the wrong thing. My car don't start. Well, I'm just trying to figure out where you use at. I'm just trying to figure out why you keep putting an R in wash. It ain't wash. Well, that's how I say it, so I can't help that. Okay, we all have a dream. Listen to me. I want my car to start working. Well, there's, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. What's the name of your business? Sagato Wash. What's it say up on the sign? Sagato Wash. Wash with an R? That's just how I say it. If you can't handle that, I don't know what to tell you. Who am I supposed to put the bill to? We pay for stuff that we done. Right, and you done it. I'm going to take this to the auto mechanic, and I'm going to have him write up a statement saying that, yes, in fact, the car was washed, it got all wet, the engine is flooded, and then I got to bill you guys to get it fixed. What's your name, sir? I told you, my name's Seamus O'Hallamartin. It's Irish. It means land of the fish. Are you writing it down? Yes, sir. Don't be putting any extra R's in my name. Seamus O'Hallamartin. Car won't start. Engine flooded. Okay. All right. Well, we run about 4,000 cars through here a month. And if there's not a problem with the car to start with, it's not going to have a problem getting wet. I mean, anything goes through here, don't get no wetter, and it does drive it through the rain. You know, your quality's gone way down since you started selling stuff there with all the air fresheners and the lip balm. We don't and the... sell any air fresheners. Yeah, the, uh, Shannon did, the lady that was in there. She was trying to sell me toenail clippers. Toenail clippers. And then she says to me, listen to this, because this isn't very professional either. You know what she says to me? Hey, can you phone scam my manager on the radio? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> 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 we Your home of the world-famous phone scams. Mojo in the morning.